Hi everyone, it's Shar and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are not new here. Today I decided that I wanted to make Dawn Lothario for my Sims 4 save file. So if you haven't seen my Caliente sisters makeover, the way I do this is not to like make over the Sim itself, but to go back to their family tree. I rely really heavily on Plumbella's videos for like the history of X family, but also the Sims wiki is mostly what I go off of because in this case I'm not trying to recreate the history but more so recreate the family tree hence the I remade Don Lothario using his actual genetics. Now I did notice something while I was doing this because it's the second family that I'm doing this for the first being the Caliente families there are bigger families that I'm intimidated by for example the Gaul family and the Landgrab families have extensive family trees but in this case Don's tree was a little bit smaller so it was easier to go back to his lineage. But what I've noticed is that so many of the sims, the deceased sims, have the exact same picture. So I'm wondering if moving forward I'm going to do something different because for the most part it seems to be the same pre-made sims that they just kind of added lore into. Now I only looked at two families so it's possible this is not true for every single family member but it was definitely some things I noticed between the Lothario family and the Caliente family. So example, I'll give you a descendant or a ancestor <laughs> for both and show you how similar they actually look. So as you can see here, right, we have Flamenco and we have Niccolo from the Caliente family and the Lothario family, and they pretty much look exactly the same. They have different beards, but that's about it. So that's what made me wonder if I wanted to continue in the same vein for future Sims. And as I mentioned, it's going to depend. So for, the, for my Sims for save file, I am not aiming to recreate any of the sim games but more so aiming to have like more realistic families more lore more history i personally find the family tree is really really interesting and when i play my game i want to be interested by the townies so all of the townies in my save file know other people they have skills they have careers they have backstories they have family trees so when you marry into them it genuinely does feel like or if you marry into them, it feels like you're marrying into a person <laughs> with a backstory. But in this case, we are creating Don's background. I believe we are still on his father's side. So we have his grandparents and his father, who I just created using genetics from the grandparents. And then we're going to add in his mother as well. Um, and her his grandparents from his mother's side. Now Don turned out to be such a cutie in this save file and something that I learned while I was doing the very little <laughs> research that I was doing for this video was that Don was actually in the medical career in previous games. He was level three and if you know Don in The Sims 4, he has no background story at all. He is unemployed. He has like a fitness skill. He's supposedly in a relationship with Katrina Caliente, but living with Nina and Dina, which let me just tell you is freaking weird, but they don't actually have a romantic bar. They just happen to be living together. But speaking of Nina and Dina and Katrina, Nina and Dina are so freaking whitewashed. It is annoying on all levels at bare minimum i'm gonna enter a picture of nina and dina's mother has she was in previous games and then katrina calante who is supposedly their mother in this game just so you could see what i mean when i say they're very um whitewashed in this game so if you can see from the designs, there is a really big difference between Katrina Caliente. Um, they even changed her name in The Sims 4. I get that it's supposed to be AU, but her design is so different from their mother's design. And this is their mother's whose name their their mother, whose name is Nihat, I believe. I'm really sorry. I am not pronouncing that well at all. I've tried to look it up. I'm really sorry, but that's her name. And I hate that they named her. Katrina in this and just like change um, the Calanta sisters family tree. But anyway, we're not here for them. This is Don's grandmother, Isabella Fiorello. When we play or load into this save file, all these sims that you see here are dead. We are just getting the genetics so we can create daddy Don Lothario for my save file. Now I'm super excited to see Don kind of walking around the world and just getting more of a sense of 
why Sims would find him so tempting. Don't get me wrong, Sims 4 Dawn is still pretty attractive, but he has nothing going for him. He has no career, really no relationships. The woman he's supposed to be involved with, he doesn't even have a romantic bar with. Um, it has no relationship with anyone outside of his household. He has like one skill, no career. I'm just like, why is Dawn supposed to be like this um, most eligible bachelor like why do so many sims supposedly want him so i gave him back his career in this game i gave him some skills he's like really good at bartending and like cooking because all of his family tree they actually have a really strong interest in cooking when i was playing with or researching their traits and stuff so i figured he would get that from his parents and he would carry on that tradition i wanted him to be tempting i should say for my save file and even then let's not neglect that dawn is hella toxic okay this man is not faithful whatsoever he is out for himself i even changed his traits i made him like romantic um and i think still active i don't remember but definitely one of his traits was childish because he was like okay at what point in his life does he have to go around getting extreme amounts of enjoyment from cheating on various women I don't know. Um, and this save file is also kind of spicy because he still has the connections with the Caliente sisters. But one of the sisters has definitely caught on to his bullshit and it's like, absolutely not. I think not. Uh, too bad for her that she's also pregnant with his baby. So <laughs> that's a fun storyline for us to play out. And this is Dawn just as a base using the genetics that you just saw me go through and recreate based off of the sims wiki this is what don lothario would look like now obviously he does look pretty different to the sims 4 version of don lothario and even some of his previous versions but i like to recreate the sims from their genetic profile um and just the genetic backgrounds that they have so i don't really like to tweak anything about how they turn out in my mind i'm not trying to recreate the character as we like know them in terms of their look i'm trying to get the most accurate genetic representation possible that i can from the sims 4 i don't roll that often i just put the genetics into the game and whatever child is created is the child that we usually end up going with or i'll roll a couple of times until i get one that i think is most similar to what we have don obviously looks very very different from just his design in the sims 4 but this is what the game created based on his previous genetic history and i think that don is so freaking hot talk about a daddy here because if i saw this sim walking around and i was playing a chaos save file i 100 percent would have my sim trying to go after don lothario especially since he's um a little bit more ambitious, shall I say, in this version of my save file. He is on track to be a doctor. He has a really, a lot of like charming, quote unquote, skills that I just wanted to put into his image and persona, right? I struggled with the design a little bit. I wanted to create some of his previous designs, which he wore like a brown and red stripy top, which we actually do have in this game but i'm sorry i could not put that on him i was like uh-uh no 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 no. the point is that if my sim saw don lothario walking around in the world they would be very interested in don lothario i guess don lothario as i imagined him based on his previous genetics i really didn't change a lot about him i kept him as he pretty much appeared when we did the genetic combination and i think that he turned out really really well and i'm super happy um with what we came up with again again my whole i keep repeating this because it's important to say my goal is not to rec recreate the character as they exist in the game but rather to use their genetic history um and create the character that way like their parents got together and his grandparents and his great grandparents and how does that lead to don lothario what's his story what's his family tree all of that stuff is how it got here i love his little red shorts so much i feel like it screams don lothario to me and i'm so excited to see him like if i was playing with my safe file right now which i'm not it's nowhere near done I would be so excited to start a new legacy challenge just because I know that Dawn is just one of the Sims that is walking around my world and I'm just really, really excited and I have to work on building some more. Community lots will definitely be my downfall for my save file, but let me know what you think of Dawn as he exists in my game. I think he's absolutely gorgeous and I really appreciate you watching this video. If you like 
um, Sims 4 save files, if you like create a sim, if you like speed builds, if you like legacy challenges, pretty much anything to do with the Sims 4, I probably do it. So I would love for you to stick around by go ahead, by go ahead and that is not grammar by clicking that subscribe button i would really love for you to stick around um and just to see more of my videos i look forward to hearing your thoughts on don and his genealogy if it's true that the sims are really just like base sims that get copied over into the family trees please do let me know because that will impact my gameplay otherwise i'm going to see you in my next video bye everyone